Surface Duo was one of those devices that had patents effectively leaking for it for like years before the device was actually even announced, let alone released. And over the last couple of days, we have seen new patents come to light regarding what appears to be the next in the Surface Duo line of devices. And I got to start with one specific place here, patentlyapple.com. All the websites I'm going to show you, I'll have links to in the bottom in the description of this video so that you can go check these things out yourself. But like I said, let's address one thing very, very quickly here. Will Microsoft introduce their reinvented Surface Duo with a single foldable display in September 2023 or 2024? Of course, there is an event, a Surface event coming uh, just next month, September of 2023. So patently Apple is asking, could this be where this patented device, the device for which these patents are potentially being made, could that device be announced next month? And I want to quickly say to you, with all certainty, 99%, no, it will not be. So if you're getting excited about that event for Surface Duo stuff, I would be absolutely shocked if a Duo type event uh, was announced at that event. Obviously, I hope that I'm wrong, but uh, things have been absolutely radio silent. And to give a little bit of brief background to that, most of these patents were made sometime uh, late last year, maybe early this year, but they're just now being made public. And this kind of lines up with what I've been telling you guys for a long time. Duo was cruising along with 12L, Duo 3 was being worked on, but then sometime early this year, 2023, February, March, April, and on, a bunch of layoffs occurred, and like I've told you, the Surface Duo team was pulled off of Duo, and we're talking about the software team, was pulled off of Duo, there may be a separate hardware team, maybe they're independent, maybe they're one team, not 100% sure how that is structured right now. Anyways, the software team was pulled off. They worked on this Teams project that involved Android for a good while, and that's why there really hasn't been much going on with Duo since then. Now, it does appear that that Teams project is done. Has that Duo team managed to come back to Duo? Well, the releases of updates have been very few and far between. They've missed a month. There's not really anything that points me in the direction of thinking, yeah, they're back full-time working on Duo again. That's kind of where we are. There were these big layoffs right after these patents were filed, and it seems to me as though Duo and Duo 3 was backburnered, and things that make the money right now were focused on much more heavily, and that makes total sense. So with all that out of the way, so you're not think seeing this stuff thinking, oh, next month, or, you know, whatever, maybe next year. That would be what I would tell you, maybe next year. Let's look at what we have here. So scrolling down, this is the first figure, figure number one. And the biggest thing about this is you can see the flexible display. Can I make this bigger? Yes, I can. Flexible display here. And you can see it folded around the other way. Not like typical foldables are where they can only open up flat. This thing has carried on the other way around like Surface Duo. This is a 360 hinge. And this is, of course, a very big deal. Because when you look at Microsoft's Surface Duo and you imagine it going to a single folding OLED screen, what on earth could they possibly do to differentiate themselves at this point? If they were to launch this right now up against devices like the Z Fold 5, the Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open, all in North America, what is this thing going to do that's going to pull people's attention away and actually sell? Well, maybe you don't need a cover display because the thing folds 360 and that would be a very, very interesting thing to do. Perhaps also the software that enables multitasking would be similar to Surface Duo now, this was definitely something they experimented with in the past, and it could potentially be very, very good. I don't know that it's going to matter, that it's going to sell particularly well, but again, seeing this stuff being patented, we've heard they were working on it, we've seen prototypes from Samsung. Was it Samsung? I believe it was Samsung. It was LG and Samsung. Both had a 360 foldable display like this. There are still some hurdles to jump, right? Like this is not something that's you're just going to say, oh, we've patented it, so now we're going to make it. Like this is a very difficult thing. The hinge engineered from the ground up. The technology of the display itself is not going to be cheap and it's not hugely widely tested either. So there's, again, 
loads of hurdles to jump before you get here, but it appears as though this is stuff that they are working on. Now, again, this last paragraph, will Microsoft introduce this at their September 21st event? No. Will they delay it and wait for Qualcomm's Orion processor that will compete with Apple's M3? I highly doubt that as well because it should just be running a regular Snapdragon. There's no reason to use an Orion chipset, which is of course meant for more desktop type things, running Windows and things like that. And Microsoft is more than likely to launch the thing running Android again. Sorry if you're disappointed by that, but if it does exist, it's gonna run Android. Now I mentioned that there were multiple patents. Here is another one that shows the same sorts of things. I'm sure there are some different things in here, but I've not dug through it super deeply. You can see the hinge design. What appears this one is mostly focusing on is that design of the hinge, all the different parts, pieces there. I'm sure for certain engineers, this is probably fascinating stuff, gears and cams, and it's very interesting. Again, they're working on this hinge, lots of text. I'll link to the stuff down below so that you guys can read through this and see if anything looks interesting to you. To me, this looks like what you think. They're making a new hinge, or at least they're patenting a new hinge. And then we've got one more here with another image that again shows that 360 hinge. You can see uh, imaged down here, folded one way, and then folded the other way. So again, this stuff is very cool, right? They're working on that 360 hinge, and that is an interesting thing. But the question of, is it coming soon? Is it coming at all? We don't know the answers to these questions. Well, we can say it's not coming soon. Again, with almost all certainty. Is it coming at all? I hope so. But again, things have been like crazy radio silent. Nobody that I know of has heard anything. I've asked around and everybody I've talked to have said, I've not heard anything other than these patents. I've not heard any rumblings about what they're doing with Duo. Duo 3, is it coming soon? No one's heard anything, which says to me, it's not being actively worked on right now. Or if it is, it is not in a significant considerable way that typically causes these sorts of things to leak out so guys that's where we're at right now if you see these patents you get excited it's cool to be excited but let's just keep things tempered let's not get our hopes up too too high guys thanks for watching subscribe for more content just like this and until next time stay nerdy